Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, this is from Brother Colton. He has shared some very intriguing dreams and visions with us in the past. And here's a new one. Just had it yesterday. Let me read. He said, yesterday while driving, I had a flash vision. I was holding the hand of Jesus. And we were walking along. We were walking along what seemed to be the shore of a body of water. I see reflections in the water, almost like watching a television. I saw fields as far as I could see that were burned and dried up from no rain. I saw, listen to this you guys, I saw North Carolina. I have never been there. I have never been there, by the way. I saw North Carolina and a huge wave came out of the ocean and destroyed many cities in North Carolina. I saw buildings collapsing from earthquakes. People were without food and water. Many people were acting like animals, killing and raping people, stealing their food and belongings, even things like TVs, which made no sense as there was no electricity anywhere. There were lines of people waiting to get a chip injected into their hand. Very vividly, just below their hairline of their foreheads, either or, hand or forehead. If they did get the chip, they were denied food rations. Excuse me, let me, let me read that again. If they did not get this chip, they were denied food rations, water, clothes, Boy, that sounds just like what I was talking about on the previous video. Sorry, Pat's two cents. Okay, back to <laughs> back to Colton. Some people had their children taken away because the government said they were unfit parents for not taking the chip and feeding their kids. Mm, mm, mm. There was a lot of fire everywhere in every clip of every scene that I saw. Finally, toward the end, Jesus told me, and I quote, I will warn many, but many will not listen. For those of you who sound my warning, you will be hated and ignored. Colton, I'm at the door and no one will enter the kingdom of my father except through me. I am here and will swing my sickle soon. I have prepared a place for each and every one of you. This was the most vivid and detailed dream or vision I have ever received. Whoa. This was the one I was telling you guys in the previous video when I read his message. This was the one that all of a sudden the revelation hit me. All of this, all the chaos, all the confusion. This is Pat's two cents talking now. All of the weather anomalies, the food, gas, water shortages, the power outages, Everything that wreaks havoc and causes major crisis all over the place. Deaths, sicknesses, pestilence, whatever. It's all designed, you guys, to force society, to force the world into taking the mark of the beast, the RFI chip. Now, it doesn't matter what form the RFI chip comes in, whether it's a stamp, whether it's an, 
uh, something that's been stuck under the skin, whether it's some type of a, a, a graft that they graft into your skin, whatever it is. The bottom line is, I honestly believe you guys, those of you who choose not to take the chip, y'all better be believing hard in God and his ability to provide and protect. Because I'm telling you, many of you who call the name of Jesus now will be hollering, chip me, chip me, chip me. I don't want my children to die. Chip me. I don't want to die. Chip me, please. I want to keep my house. You think that you're going to be diehard believers that will never give in. When I say out of my mouth, I will never take the chip. That's not because I have confidence in me. I'm saying, well, Lord, you know, I'm a fraidy cat. So I'm asking you to strengthen me against all fear, against all panic, doubt, whatever. I don't put anything past myself, you guys. We have to stay prayed up for God to keep us strong in our resolve, steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. We cannot bow. We cannot afford to bow. This is desperation time. These, these last days, they're full of perversion. They're full of chaos. They're, oh my goodness, they're going to be full of violence. So many crazy types of crimes are going to be taking place just so people can get over. People be cutting off people's hands to get the mark. I'm, they'll be doing whatever they can. I'm telling you, you've got to be prayed up for the days coming. These days that are coming, judgment first, God's wrath second, the end third. Can we as believers make it through God's judgment? He did not call us to his wrath. But can we make it through the judgment? God help us. In the name of Jesus.